Guys, check it out. Mega Mystery Box. This is Batch 3, Box 2. Found a lot of good stuff so far, and I'm really, really stoked about what's in here. This is Super Ty over at the Awesome Books and Comics Sidekick Store. I'm joined by Comic Book Brando. Let's see what we got. It's a mystery wrapped in a secret. It's a mega time of fun. You don't know what you're gonna get, but I see... Uh, Terrence Stamp. <laughs> yeah, let's start off with General Zod. This is from the DC Comics Multiverse. This is from Superman 2. I stated earlier that this is one of the main reasons I grew a beard. This is one of the main reasons I wear black lycra. Ah, there you go. This is super cool. This is a Jack Skellington in a gigantic coffin. It has this little thing right here to keep it closed. But Man. real fabric. Mighty nice. A lot of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in these boxes so far. This one's super cool. Comes with a little stand, keeps them up. Mighty nice. I believe we have a Sally over at Austin Books. So. The Pumpkin King. Oh man. The Four Horses of the Apocalypse. This is a Cthulhu horse. Okay. And it's called Maddie. Uh, this is <laughs> amazingly cool. There's other ones that have uh, come out as well. There's uh, Calamity, Raven, Clash, and Ghost. But this one, it's literally just a My Little Pony, but everything is tentacles and stuff. It's, oh, those are so cool. There's other figures like that over at Guzu Gallery. This is made by Big Shot Toys. Boom. Now this is super cool. This goes with the uh, Nika figures of Aliens, the Power Loader, the P5000 Deluxe View. Oh, man. We were needing some Ripley earlier in the last video, and now we got some. There we go. That's like, is Ripley in there? Nah, but it, it's her vehicle it's of her, choice. It's her, uh, it's her awesome exoskeleton. It says Aliens, but wasn't that from Alien? No, that was an Alien. Oh, I was so good. Queen. I get him confused. Thank you, Nika. Power loader. And since you know we had a Cthulhu horse, might as well have a pop Cthulhu on his own. Special snot green edition. That's part of the madness. Just makes me want to watch that South Park episode again. Oh, uh, the trilogy. Yeah, like <laughs> Cthulhu I, and me. My favorite. The the history of. Uh, Mintberry Crunch? Oh, Mintberry Crunch is pretty amazing, but uh, uh, Mysteri... Mysterion. Mysterion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kenny. Uh, well, because the first episode they were in when, like, he took off his mask. Yeah, mask. No he had idea no who idea. It is. Oh, uh, genius. That was some genius writing. And then you find out it is Kenny, and you're like, oh, I have seen his face then. <laughs> but you got to see it in the movie as well. Uh, we got a, <laughs> completely doing a 180 from Cthulhu, we got Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Thulu. Now that's a movie. Teach each other about fun and friendship in Hawaii. We got a Dragon Ball Z Vegeta figure. Once again, this is all in Japanese. I I really want to know what this guy's all about, though. Who is he? What is he? What does he have to play in this? <laughs> I assume he's either the sculptor, or the dock worker. Maybe voice actor, dock worker. <laughs> Yeah, he's wearing one of those dogs. He's wearing one of those skull cat things? Nah. Jeez. We got another one of these Attack on Titan Mikasa statues. These things are so cool by Funimation. Oh, and Crane King did this Dragon Ball Z thing. Because so. we keep forgetting that. Yeah. Funimation is the animated thing. Who's yeah. Who made the. Pultra? Pultra. Pultra? I guess. Let's see, the cool thing is the base is like a giant Titan hand that she's jumping off of. The base alone is. It's worth a couple fingers. Cheese rad. So we got some New York Comic Con 2015 Mini Mates. This is Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and Sad Jack Skellington right there. They got their little tub that they ride around in. Boom. Thank you, Mini Mate. You know, Paul Rubens was the voice of uh, uh, Barrel. And uh, Catherine O'Hara. She was a uh, shock, I believe. I don't, forgot who did lock. Was it? I think it was Danny Elfman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Had a lot of time to uh, get some uh, Nightmare Before Christmas knowledge because we keep on getting some stuff from it. <laughs> You've been studying it. I've been studying up. Uh, we got some Guardians of the Galaxy's little minifigures. 
Ooh, will it be a Groot? Will it be a Star Lord? Will it be Ronan the Accuser? Would Who be, knows? Would it be a glowy figure as well? Oh, do they have a Yeah, they chase? got glowy figures and they got metallics. Whoa. Oh yeah. So we got a couple of these guys. We have not gotten those yet. We got uh oh, it's adventure time. We got oh, man. We got Jake. With his little Velcro feet. I think Algebraic. No, 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 no. Card Wars. No. And then we got uh, Finn right here. Mathematical. This show is way creepier than people, you know, give it credit for. I mean, it is creepy at parts. It's the ultimate Dungeons and Dragons campaign. We got three Stormtroopers from original Star Wars pop figure line. These are bobbleheads. Oh. Ah, ah. Anyone? Oh, I get it. No? Now, this is cool. We got two of these. We got two Vampirella Women of Dynamite. Wow. That's a snazzy statue. Yeah. By, uh, based on the art of J. Scott Campbell. He's popular. Yeah. I actually know Jason Smith, the guy who sculpted that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's I worked cool. with him at uh, a video game oh, uh, really? company. Yeah. Well, take a look at that. I like the base to it. There's a lot of human skeletons. Yeah, that's pretty gory. Neat. Let's see what else we got here. We got Son of Frankenstein. Marvel Select Frankenstein. He's a very fashion-forward Frankenstein. He wears a big furry vest that's pretty cool oh my goodness so we got these bear brick is that whole case of bear bricks yeah it's like not been opened or anything that's insane yeah that's a really good find yeah this is really good i like the uh horror one and maybe some godzilla oh, man. there's a 9.3 percent chance that you can get that percentage chance of godzilla bear bricks or the halo one Pretty neat. Series 28. That's been going on a long time. Here's something really cool. Uh, in case you want to have an awesome party, we got Han Solo ice cube tray. Got a couple of those. You just want to, you know, freak out some people with Harrison Ford in your drink. I don't know. That wouldn't freak me out. I'd be like, this is my kind of party. We got a Pulp Fiction uh, reaction figure of Marcellus Wallace. <laughs> no quotes possible. Yeah. This is a PG-13 show. Man, I, there are literally nothing, no, nothings, eh, whatever. Wow. So this is a Game of Thrones Tyrion in battle statue. Uh, Peter Dinklage got to meet him once. Nice fella. <laughs> Pretty cool. Looks like he's really into battle. Mighty nice. Box looks a little scratched up, but... He doesn't battle a whole lot in the show. Um, there's a point where he, like, kind of saves the day with his intelligence and uh it's really good let's see uh, we got another one of those han solo ice cube trays got another general zod let's see hang on a sec got some walking dead figures i don't think we've gotten these ones yet this is a dale and a morgan without the uh two pack the single figure on his own Single figure Single on his figure. own. Can't you tell? Just a girl in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Just a girl in the world. That's amazing. Well, guys, that's it for Batch 3, Box 2. This is going to be available on February 3rd, Wednesday morning at discounted prices. Uh, this is a really good box. It had a lot of cool stuff in it. Brandon, do you like it? I'm fond of it. They're nice. Mighty nice. I kind of want one of those Vampirella statues. <laughs> I kind of want to want to try out my luck with one of these uh, little bobblehead guys right here. Do it. Yeah. Or, of course, this guy, the Cthulhu horse. That power load is really sweet, too. Yeah, man. It's all good stuff. Well, anyways, these are going to be available on February 3rd. And I am Super Ty Denton 1. That is Comic Book Brando. You can also follow us on at Austin Books. I am at the Austin Books and Comics Sidekick Store. Like this video, share it around with your friends, subscribe to it so you can see all this other cool stuff that we're going to be getting. we got plenty more boxes. So, we'll catch you next time.